Hello, hello, hello. My name is Hector. Welcome back to the wonderful world of Ectoria. We are back here. How's everyone doing? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a grand day. Uh, we're here in our new sort of colour district. So, ages ago, I built uh, a an AFK sheep, uh, well, wool farm, as you can see, all the colours. Uh, you can see in here we've got some colours, and then out here we've got all the storage for them. Uh, and Oh, that's got a thing on. And then recently on stream, I built a cactus farm. Just a very simple one, not like a super one, but uh, it does the job just enough for us. Um, so that, that we did. And then again on the stream, on the, one of the last streams that we did, I built this little um, flower farm. So it, I tried to make it look a little bit like a uh, like a flower stall. And um, we used the new dark prismarine that we can now do, which is uh, very lovely. But the reason for this, and the, the way this works is, you can see, and I got this off a tutorial, and I can't remember where I saw this. Um, I sort of saw it and then forgot where I saw it. Um, so apologies, I can't really direct you. Um, but it's a, a pretty simple system. There's dispensers out here for the bone meal, and then there's a minecart with a hopper, and uh, then another hopper in there. And uh, basically, we just come around here. This is a bit, a bit, a bit dodgy. But what happens is. There you go, and you can see we're just getting each of these, like, you know, four times, which is pretty great. There we go, let's turn that off, bam. Um, and that's because all of these uh, flowers can basically be used to make different dyes. So, obviously, the green uh, from the cactus gets your green. Uh, all of these, that's like four more, and then I think some of these, like, obviously, red and yellow can be combined. Uh, and I can't remember if any of these, I think one of these can be combined i think this is maybe pink no that's purple and this is pink uh, i can't remember if any of these can be combined as well so we're sort of doing a bit of a color theme over in this little this little area which i am liking and i thought we'd continue that today and uh, because one of the th colors that we need is brown using cocoa beans so i thought we would try i was going to try and make like an afk an afkable um, cocoa bean farm. So let's try doing it here. So uh, it would be nice. So I think then here would be would be that. Uh, let's come over here and pick up some stuff. Have I got a chest? No, I do not. Let us make ourselves a chest. There we go. Lovely stuff. Bam and bam. So I'm guessing we would stand here. Uh, we might have to put like a bit of carpet on there because although, <laughs> although yeah there you go you can see you can you can sort of although i'm finding it hard to there we go uh, you can go down so that is a little bit annoying so we'd stand here uh with like a stack of this can we yeah we can um and my idea is basically to put a dispenser with bone meal in here flick a lever and uh, maybe fill your inventory so it all goes in here um, that's my idea, and I'm I'm sure this is doable. Uh, I'm pretty certain this is doable. So let's have a let's have a look. See, we're going to be doing some some redstoney stuff, which is not generally you know what I'm what I'm decent at. But oh, but I think this is doable even for me. So let's let's attempt let's attempt this. So that needs to go here. That needs to go there. That is a dispenser. Yes. That is correct. That is a dispenser. Like, oh, like this, like that. So, obviously, the bone meal would go in here, and that would do that and make things happen. So, we need now, we need a clock. Uh, I need a lever as well. I don't have any. Yes, there we go. Lovely stuff. Lever. There we go. So, uh, let's get some more. Grab some more. A redstone. I don't think I'll need much more than that, if I'm honest. So, what we could do is... Hmm, I need to have a look. So, apparently, the easiest method of making a clock nowadays is just two observers facing like back-to-back -back away from each other, uh, which is rather excellent. That's just 
produces like a pulse. Uh, so basically, if we did it like that, you can see they keep updating each other and you can see that just makes one of these and then uh, to stop it annoyingly you can't just do that um, so I don't really know a good way to stop this other than basically to do that but it, you can you can see it still it still sort of does that but it does it does work so I wonder if this if this works like like this basically and now I don't know I don't use observers enough to know which way it, that would go. Ah, okay. So, so, I get it. I get it now. Well, for now, I get it. And then I'll forget about it again. So, like that should do us. Yes, like that. And then, I'm guessing like that. Yes. Uh, so, then, then, now, if we do... Is this right? If I did that here like that, and then... Yes! That is indeed correct. I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm actually getting this right. So let's just shove in some of this. Yeah, there you go. And obviously, bone meal doesn't dispense if it's got nothing to bone meal. So I would stand here. Ah! Right, okay, so I need, ah, ah, this is the thing that I've not thought about. It needs, this would actually need to move. Okay, let's turn this off because this is uh, not a nice, not a nice thing. Can I, if I came here? Yes. Ooh, okay, okay, so that's good to know. So I need, now then, I need a system to move, to move that. That is the thing that I've not thought about because I can't, I can't stand here and basically just hold one thing. I'd have to, like, I'd have to do two different, two different buttons. And I don't know if that would work. Maybe it would still. I don't know. I'm guessing some of that has gone in here. I mean, that would actually, if I can hold both buttons down uh, when I'm AFKing, that would make it easier. Otherwise, I'm going to have to, I'm guessing, make uh, something with, like, a sticky piston that, sort of occasionally moves this if you get what I mean like it you know ever so often it would move it which means that this would pop off I could try doing something like that uh right I'm gonna go off camera because I think this is this is too hard for me to do on camera I ain't clever enough for that right then this is like a long time later I finally got something that works ish and um, this has taken me a couple of hours to figure out something that I'm like well a that works and B that works well enough for me to think uh, I can leave it here so what we got what we got first of all uh, I've put a lever there that connects both of these so a, a both of the outputs uh, of the red zones it switches on or off which is handy so that we only need one rather than having two uh, and then what we've got is a long line of repeaters on full delay and then these are basically two t flip-flops they're called and they're, they're a bit weird what they're generally used for is to turn like a like a button signal into like an on or off switch so for instance had we put instead of that repeater there if that was a lamp and then we instead of having this here we had like a button on this um on this dispenser if we press the button the lamp would go on and it would then stay on and then if we turned it again it will go off uh basically i believe that's how it generally works so and um, there should be yeah there you go there's a bit of dirt there and there's a bit of dirt here and it just cycles that dirt through um so it just it just lengthens the pulse uh, basically in this so it just slows it down a little bit like this repeater but i needed all of these repeaters otherwise it would just go through too quickly because this is basically it just goes like that you know it's very in fact you can see it that's how fast it is so we need it to slow that down quite a lot uh, for this piston to basically go up uh, and then the uh, the bone meal to come out enough so that it would actually mature 
properly. So that was my issue. Um, I just literally, just now, I added a second, the second T flip-flop and that just, just about did it and uh, long enough for that to work. So now this is loud. This is loud when I turn it on because um, both of these, there's two, well, the six dispensers that are just constantly going through and there's this um, piston that is going as well. So it is loud. Uh, I don't know if that, oh yeah, that, that has got some in as well, but let's put it on and you'll you'll sort of see. So you can, you can hear that those are continuously cycling through and there you go, there comes that pulse and it, there you go. So that's basically it working. So if we look at it now, there you go. You can see it matures and then it, it pops off. Matures, pops off. There we go. So you can see that is basically how it works. Is that, did I turn it off? Yes. And you can see when it, when, when I turn it off, it just go, it cycles through because the pulse is quite slow. So uh, you can see that works. This works. So now, what I thought we'd do is do something like this to make it, you know, to make it look a little bit nicer. Um, I need to also put some dirt on here. Uh, let's move the bed. So I can actually start to make it look a little bit, a little bit neater because obviously all of this is, well, it's a bit of a mess. And I'm guessing there are going to be people that could very much make this a lot better and a lot more compact. But uh, this is, you know, I've just made this up uh, and I'm quite, I'm quite happy. Stroke surprise that I've been able to do this. So uh, that is a win for me. That is a total win. And um, the only thing is, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Um, hmm. So it's that bit of the block that I need to do, isn't it? So I don't know. Mm. Yeah, because it would be nice to have it like here. So that is possibly my last thing that I need to vaguely figure out how to do is how to get the lever to be here because at least here I can just about do it. And I think if, have I got any more jungle wood? Uh, oh, I don't. I don't have I used all of my chunk of wood. I don't have that much. Um, I never use it. Uh, it'd be nice to maybe put these up a little bit just to, you know, just to add a little bit of the ambience and then we can maybe put some of those here, say, for instance, we might bring that up a little bit. Um, so, well, maybe we don't put that, the switch here. So I don't know. Maybe we do leave. Eh, I don't know. I don't know. But I want to make this look a little bit nicer. You know, I'm I'm totally all right with a lot of this being covered by dirt, um, but some of this would be nice for it to be nicer. It would be nice for it to be nice. Look at it. Look at it in all its glory. It looks a little odd, but I quite like it. I quite like it. The back is actually really weird. Um, like it's just some some weird, <laughs> really weird shape. I don't know if, I don't know whether to cover this up because obviously you can see the redstone and the observer. And this is where I've put the switch. Really weird um, place for it, but it sort of made sense to me. I mean, I could, we could put some more trapdoors like here instead. Uh, for instance, we could do that just to, to get hold of that. Well, to get to that a little bit easier um, but for now I think I'll leave it like this um, so we've got we've got all of these we've got that we've got the cactus so lapis is obviously something that we can't we can't do anything that that's just like a mining thing uh, and then the last bit of all of the um, things uh, obviously bone meal is another one actually um, but we've got we've got a skeleton farm over there and then we've got a huge mob farm uh, in the other side of Ectoria so bone meal is not too much of a thing the uh, the last thing that we need dye wise is um, ink so we'll be having a look at some ink farms and I don't know where it's all changed the last since the last time I made like an ink farm so I don't I don't know, but let's see this in action uh, one more time, just to prove more to myself that this still actually does work. Um, so I'll wait for it to come up. Ah, now then. Now then. Ah, right. So little little design flaw here. That cannot be that. Okay. So 
I need a bit of wood or something that is not. Might have to go back to the old spruce bit here. And let's do that. There we go. So, yeah, that's... See, that's a good job that I... There we go. Um, good job that I had another little test of this. Oh. Oh. Well. Ah. <laughs> Even more. So that... And that cannot be that either. Well, now. Good job that I tested this. Right. So, let's just put those there. Let's go back into the test chamber. There we go. So actually we can just stand here, really. And yeah, this does now still work. Okay, so... Excellent, right. Um, and is that still that? Yes, okay. So that does change our design a little bit. There we go. Let's turn that off. It's very loud. Um, so we've, we've got... We've, can I get through? Yeah, we've got these three random bits of spruce. So... The one thing that we could do is just cover them up um, with more jungle wood, but I sort of don't want it to be, you know, even even further up. We could maybe instead just use normal normal jungle planks, um, perhaps. Let's let's have a look see at that. At least to keep it, you know, slightly jungle themed. Uh, move you. There we go. And then that. And then that. Uh, and I don't, I don't dislike that too much. So actually, what we could maybe also do is let's get some more jungle wood. I actually had to make some jungle wood because, well, like I said, I don't really, didn't really have any. There we go. Let's make a few of these. There we go. And um, because, oh, and it is night time. Of course, it is always night time in a Minecraft. Let's skip that away. There we go. Um, what we could maybe do is a bit of that, you know, just to just to add a little bit of a little bit of that to it. Um, hmm. I don't know. I don't. I do. I don't mind that actually. Like just here, it's do we like do something like this and. Maybe put these here like that as well. Like the front is actually, I'm sort of all right with the front. It, it's like a an odd little thing, but I quite like it. It's, it's you know, it's fairly cute from this side, I think. It's just this bit that I'm a little bit, I know, but like, well, it's, it's sort of, it's sort of a little bit odd. And maybe what we should do instead of that is just put some dirt here and, um, and actually... There we go. And actually cover this up because it sort of does actually make sense. We don't necessarily have to. And we could actually bring that out here as well. That could be the other thing that we do rather than... Yeah, I'm thinking that that might be a good idea, you know. Just to bring this out. So it's like it's part of this. And that is fine. There we go. Uh, have I got any more dirt? I don't. But we do in here... There we go. Just make this a little bit, a little bit nicer. There we go. Um, so I think that is actually better. I do actually think that is better. Um, and this maybe doesn't have to be that. And the other thing to do would maybe be to put slabs on all of these. Oh no, not a double slab. None of that. None of that business. Uh, like that. Does that make that a bit? Ah, it does a bit actually. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, I do actually like that better. I do actually like that better. And um, the other only thing is, do we put some under here? But I think not. I think I quite like that. And in fact, maybe these go all together. Yeah, that's that is nicer. That, I don't know, that somehow completes it and just using a bit of jungle, bit of actual jungle wood sort of finishes that off nicely. And this is, yeah, this is still a little bit odd. Um, but I sort of, I'm not too bothered about hiding that, actually. It's like a little weird tail that this, that this has, but I'm totally okay with this. So um, the only other thing to do would be to maybe 
cover this up a little bit, you know, uh, just to make that look a little bit nicer. So I'll, I will probably do that off camera. But otherwise, that is a fairly successful AFK, um, AFKable uh, cocoa bean farm. And the other, the only other thing I'd say that we could do is maybe you could if you wanted to, but I don't think I'll ever need that much cocoa beans that I'll need to do this, but you could basically put, make sure that there's a door here, uh, you could maybe put two hoppers here, and then the chest there, and then have a door, so that you could, you know, you could actually stay here, and actually properly AFK, but I, like I said, I don't think, I don't know, I don't feel like I need that many cocoa beans, and um, that's already quite a lot. So yeah, there we go. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy it. <laughs> I can't believe how long this actually took me to do. And most of it was just trying to figure out the timing. I am not good at redstone. So thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, do the things. Thank you. I've been Acta. This has been the wonderful world of Victoria. And hopefully I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.